So what are those funny charts with all those primary colors on it? This is what we call zones of regulation. And I like to talk about this because this is one of the way we work with anxiety. Um, one of the many ways, we're also in the cranial sacral room, so we work a lot with anxiety with cranial sacral and bone conduction and all these fun things we have here. This is our new cranial sacral room. Um, because we are so quickly growing, it had to move to a different spot. So um, this is a great example. We have green zone, which is when you're in your happy mood. We have yellow zone, which is when you're just beginning to get stressed about something. Um, we also have blue zone when you're just feeling fatigued or lethargic, and then red zone is when you're just mad, okay? Um, we use this in many different ways. I pulled out a customized one that we use for my son. Um, so you're, for him, he has a better time understanding if we actually use his face. So all those face pictures are him in each one of those zones. So he's in uh, blue zone because he's sleeping over there. Green zone, he's happy. Yellow, he's frustrated and worried. And then that's his mad face. So what we do is, and also on the bottom, you'll notice on that sheet, we put things in that they can do to get out of that zone or to address that zone. This is completely customized to the client. So for him, um, you'll see uh, when he's in blue zone, if he gets um, swings, that tends to get him to green zone. Um, when he's in green zone, that's where we want him optimally. And there's several strategies that he can use in, in the community or here to adjust those zones. We also try to teach them how it feels to be in that zone. So with anxiety, many of our kids don't um, have body awareness. So we talk about that eight sensory system or interoception. How do I feel about the way I feel? There's not a connection with that. So we're trying to teach that connection so they're able to understand how that feels. How does it feel to be calm? How does my body feel when I'm calm? How does my body feel when I'm stressed? Does my stomach get into knots? Do I feel tension in my muscles? Different things like that. So that is a, one of the big areas we use to address anxiety. And we try to identify what the component of that anxiety is. It could be that I don't like transitions. So if I have some control of my schedule and I know what's going to happen next, then I can uh, modulate better. However, if something happens that I have no control over, I have some strategies to use to get back to my green zone. So the, uh, that's a very quick elementary introduction of zones of regulation. But if you hear your kids, uh, kiddos talking about these zones, this is why. And we would be more than happy to provide you a zones of regulation chart.